Still on the ministerial briefing, the Lagos State Government has successfully attracted over 50 billion Naira in investments through Foreign Direct Investment FDI and Domestic Direct Investment DDI within the past year. Commissioner for Commons, Cooperative Trade and Investment for Lashade Ambrose Medebem made this announcement today in Alausa. The new multi-billion Naira investment including Twinnings Oval Tins Nigeria Limited owned by Associated British Foods PLC are expected to enhance the state's productive capacity, create jobs, opportunities, and boost the economy. In the last one year of the second term of the administration, the ministry stepped up its activities in its commitment to attract and sustain viable and vibrant investment and develop commercial trade, industrial, and cooperative-based activities in the state. We sought to drive sustainable economic growth through improved business support policies and infrastructures to continue to attract foreign and domestic investments and also to ensure that the equal growth of nanos and micro small and medium enterprises also thrived additionally the state government in partnership with the bank of industry has finalized plans for one billion naira each in production and trade funding to support nano, micro, small and medium enterprises with exportable products. This initiative aims at helping these businesses expand and generate foreign exchange. Commissioner Ambrose Medebim reiterated the commitment of the state government led by Governor Babajide Somolu to collaborate with the organized private sector to create a conducive business environment in the state. I'm happy to say that uh, we recently also um, focused on ensuring that we continue to drive trade expansion across the UAE and in order to, to continue to facilitate trade promotion and industrial development, um, we signed, and by that I say the Nigerian Trade House in Dubai, the state government led by Mr. Governor Babaji Desanwulu signed a memorandum of understanding with the Nigerian Arabian Gulf Chamber of Commerce. And the whole essence of that really was to ensure that we can continue to work with our MSMEs and ensure that they're all set up for success. And by success, I mean exportable success to ensure that we start to um, send our products out to the UAE for, for businesses to thrive. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.